My wife and I took this and turned it into this. In just three months, with no outside help and no prior experience. If you like a DIY project and fancy transforming your garden like a pro, then this video might just help you tackle the job in a different way. Make sure you stick around until the end where I've put together a fun time lapse of the whole project unfold. Apart from the substantial manual labor involved, the number one tool that made this project a success for us was a light touch and easy to use CAD application called SketchUp, which I'd never used before. So in this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of it and explain to you how it benefited our project. And in case you're wondering, this video is not sponsored in any way. I'm not selling or promoting anything. I just wanted to share something that helped us do something amazing. In our slightly ambitious project, my wife and I took on a challenging yet very rewarding journey of transforming our garden, handling everything from design to construction without any external help, except for a digger that helped us remove 30 cubic meters of soil. The ground beneath our feet was a hard, thick clay. Temperatures reached around about 40 degrees centigrade. So the clay slowly became dry and it was rock hard to actually dig into. So we definitely needed a digger. Despite having no prior experience in building or using 3D modeling software, I found SketchUp to be remarkably user-friendly and I was able to pick it up in no time at all. SketchUp served as a pivotal tool right from the initial design phase. It helped us visualize the complex elements in our design, such as the retaining walls, the staircases, and a bespoke pergola. With such an extensive project like this and with only two people to execute it, the last thing you want to do is start the project and then later find out that it, it's not what you wanted. So with this software, it gave us the ability to experiment with different designs, allowing us to modify them until we came up with the version that we thought was perfect or before the first hole was dug. It gave us the ability to design it the way we visualized it in our own heads without having to explain that to an external designer and hope they get it. With it being more than just a design tool, SketchUp became our guide through the entire building process. It helped me understand the construction nuances by being able to look at each structure from all sides, determine the necessary tools and calculate the exact sizes and angles for each component. With its accurate measurement tools, it allowed us to calculate exactly how much material we needed from the number of railway sleepers, paving slabs, aggregates, cement supports, all the way through to how many screws we needed. This level of detail in planning was instrumental in ensuring efficiency and avoiding waste. And after this garden project was complete, I also used it to design custom wardrobes in each bedroom, along with unique decor features throughout the house giving it a custom design element you can't really buy off the shelf. It's become the number one tool I use before starting any DIY project now. Since first learning to use it, it's led me to experimenting with 3D printing, which has opened up a whole new world of fun and exciting projects for me. Oh, and if you're interested in seeing any of these models being built, then make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button so you're notified when I release them. If you're curious to try SketchUp, then they do offer a 30 day trial before you have to pay for it. There are hundreds of short YouTube video guys that can get you started. It took me about 30 minutes to get the hang of the basics and then just return to YouTube as I got more advanced and needed a little bit more help. Within a few days, using my floor plans as a base to work from, I'd drawn up my entire house in 3D and to scale. I then just manually measured the perimeter of my garden and Bob's your uncle. I was free to start creating different garden designs, wardrobes, and other features. So without any further ado, here's a quick time lapse of the whole project unfold. I hope you enjoy it and it ignites a little bit of your own creativity. Thanks for watching and I'd appreciate it if you'd consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. I'd also love to hear your feedback and any of your own projects that you've taken on. 
And whether or not SketchUp has ended up helping you the same way it helped us. Have a great day.